Oh, yeah, it says 15-something on there. Look at that. I'll take it. Having a great day. I have thousands of silver coins. These are for the Nugget Noggin Live Silver Treasure Hunt. What's up, y'all? It's Nugget Noggin. I traveled over 4,000 miles away to come over here metal detecting in England. We're going to find some treasure today. First signal of the England trip. Right there, it's, it's loud. Sounds like a coin. All right. Oh, it is, look at that. Literally, walked out in this field, walked about 20 yards, got a coin right there. That's what was giving all the noise. Wow, wow, it's cold out here. Looks like it's gonna be a King George Copper. A greenie! <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, it's just getting started. It's going to be a great day. Wow, let's keep going. I'll clean this up a little bit more later, but if I had to guess, it's a 1700s King George Copper. Just like that. Find it over here in England. There's so much old history here. A lot different than America, so let's keep digging. Just walked about 50 feet from where I got that copper and found the first button of the trip. Pretty muddy, but you can see where the shank was on the back there. It's like kind of tom back button. All right, let's keep moving. Got to cover some ground today. Got a good signal. Right there. 75, 76. Let's see what we have. <laughs> Little layer of dirt was frozen. This might be a coin. Sounds pretty good. Ooh. It's out, I think I see it. I don't think that's a coin though. Right there. No, is it? Coin or a button? Let's see what we have. I think it's gonna be a button. Yep. Looks like a button. See where the shank was on the back there. So a big old button. May have something on it. Yeah, that's a start. I was back over here detecting the same area in October, so there's more to find. That sounds like a coin there. It's shallow. I think it's on edge. It's giving like a double beep. So let's just see if we can knock it out. All right, I think it's gonna be out, so. Oh no, is that a ring? Are you kidding me? Look at that. Oh, that's funny. It's a skull and crossbone ring. I think that's more modern, but that's still pretty cool. <laughs> That'd be crazy if it was old. Yeah, a ring. Wow, let's get a close up of that. That's a great find. Skull and crossbones. That's pretty cool. It's marked on the inside of the band, 925, so sterling silver. So I just got a pretty good signal down here. Put my shovel in the ground, pried it back, and I see it. It's right down here, and you can see it right there. That is a coin. It's frozen in the dirt. Did you look at that? Oh, let's see, or maybe it's a flat button. No, I think it's a coin. No shank on the back. That's crazy. <laughs> let's clean it up and see if we can get any detail off of it. Didn't have to dig for that one. Take a look at some of the silver here, y'all. I have thousands of silver coins. These are for the Nugget Noggin Live Silver Treasure Hunt. I'm hosting this May 6th in Rock Hill, South Carolina. So just gives you an idea of what I'm gonna be burying in the ground. A couple of these I might actually use as prizes, but most of it's going in the ground. There's a Morgan Dollar. We have Mercury Dimes, thousands of dimes. Half dollars, there's some Franklin Halves. We have Walking Liberties. Even some 1964 Kennedy half dollars. All silver. Every single bit of this here is a silver coin. Some of them are in amazing shape too. So it'd be a good high tone for you to dig. If you haven't signed up yet, you can click the link in the video description below. Get signed up today. I'm going to limit this event at around 120 people. So it's not going to be open for the whole country. Just for y'all that sign up. And we'll also have prizes. So if you find a token in the ground, you'll get the chance to win a prize, which could be a metal detector, a gold coin, 10 ounce silver bar, and other awesome prizes. So it's gonna be a blast. 
The last two years have been a huge success, and so this is my third silver treasure hunt. Hope to see y'all there this May 6th, Rock Hill, South Carolina. On Friday, May 5th, we're having a pre-hunt meet and greet, so it will be a blast. The mud's getting to be pretty, pretty bad down here. Everything's thawing out and I'm sinking deeper. But I just found a signal right there. You see that thing sticking out? Looks like a button. Yep. Nice flat button. See where the shank was on the back there. So I've done change fields here. I walked out, it was pretty quiet. Just got a good signal. And it's right there. I thought it was a button at first, but after looking at it, I think we might have a coin. So let's see what we have. Yep, I think that's going to be a silver coin. Oh, yeah. That's definitely an old hammered silver. Look at that. Let's wash it off a little bit, see if we can make out any detail. It could be copper. That's a great find. It looks like a rose on the front there. I thought that was a head. It looks like a Tudor rose on the back. Some type of design. Could be a thistle on the back. I don't know. It's got some writing on it, so... That's a hammered silver coin. Just walked out in this field too. There you go, you can really see it now. These things are thin, they could blow away in the wind. But I'll take it. Let's go get some more. That's a really good signal. Solid 77. That's gonna be a Vicky Penny or something. Wow, every time locks on that number so something pretty round so i'm guessing no i see it yeah it is round what do we have here a uh, coin not thick enough for roman but some type of old coin well we'll have to clean it up some so it's been a few hours since earlier y'all and i've dug a bunch of flat buttons and just brass stuff and i finally got onto a good high tone signal here the dirt's finally starting to dry out but Check out what this is. This is a really good find. All right, so right down there, I started to wipe it off a little bit. I thought it was gonna be modern, like a washer or something, but that right there is a hammered silver coin. Wow, it's a big one too. Oh man, look at the back of that. That is beautiful. Might be able to get a date off this one. Oh yeah, it says 15 something on there. Look at that. 15, one five. That's got to be from the 1500s. Wow. That is amazing. I can't believe I just found that, y'all. It was only a few inches deep. I blew my headphones out on AT Pro here, but that's definitely a silver coin, so I'll take it. Having a great day. That's a hammered silver coin. Might be a Lizzie. I think it's Elizabeth. Wow. That's a beauty right there, y'all. There could be more around here. We're gonna have to recheck this area with the detector, but that is amazing. That's what it's all about right there. Coming over here to England and digging something this old. Wow, it's like finding a Spanish Real back in the States. Looks like a Lizzie. I'll definitely take that. That's a great find. Unreal. So I found that big hammered silver right there and we're gonna work this area in circles around it so we can kind of have a reference point to where it was because there could be more. So let's see what else we can get. Got another loud hit here. 81, it's out the hole. That's either gonna be a King George copper or silver or a piece of trash or could be a bunch of different things. Ah, no, it's a big chunk of lead. Look at that, I gave a high tone. That's a thick one. So something was going on out here years ago. Just got another signal here. This one, I dug in the wrong spot. It's right there, pretty shallow. Wow, we got a greenie. Might be more modern. One penny, 1935 it looks like, or 34. 